the gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. 90% of the times, Jesus was in the business of casting out demons. 90% of the times, he rebuked spirits that were behind certain predicaments that individuals were suffering. That would you know, give us a greater insight that majority of our problems today are caused by confused, demonized, demonized, controlled, and manipulated creatures of the sea, creatures of the air, and creatures of the earth. That we are originally subject to mankind. And of course, you understand the eternal implication of the sin in the garden. Satan understood what the sin in the garden was all about. You know, for us as religious you know, folks, our concept of sin is not, oh, he sinned and we all died. No, no, no. The Bible says that through one man, sin entered the world. And death reigned. See that? Sin entered. Sin entered the world and death reigned. And of course, because sin entered the world, it subdued the very creatures that man was supposed to subdue. When sin entered the world, because the world then was the world of man. God created man and made man the God of the earth. He made him the ruler and the God of the air. The fowl of the air, of course. The fowl of the air are the powers of the air. They are the sons of the earth. They are the sons of the sea. Remember, each of the creatures of the earth... God commanded the earth to produce, to procreate. Remember that? And God commanded the earth to produce creatures that creep upon the earth. So, in other words, the earth was procreative. The air was, pro I mean, the waters were procreative as well. So, out of the water came the firmament of the air. Out of the water came the birds of the air, creatures of the air. So God authorized man to have dominion over these creatures. So when devil came and deceived man, what he was aiming at was the position and influence that man ought to have or the calling and the position of mankind over creation. So that was the purpose for which the devil came after mankind. Get that into, into your mind. So having that in our spirits, it, it, it becomes it, it's something difficult to know that. I mean, um, it becomes difficult to neglect the operations of the devil in these last days. We ought to learn carefully how we can effectively overcome the tricks and the schemes of the devil. How? It is in the simplest way that we know that certain creatures that, that were originally created for us, Satan had captured, polluted, corrupted, and has also settled to use them against us. Let me also establish this fact before I go forward. Every creature in the air and in the sea and on earth we are created by God for man. Somewhere in the scriptures the Bible says that whether it is principalities or powers or rulers or dominions or thrones 
they were all created by Christ and for Christ. But the fowl of the air, the fishes of the sea, and the carols, the earth, and everything that creeps upon the earth, we are created by God for man. Does that make sense? So God now said, subdue the earth. Subdue the fowl of the air. Subdue the creatures in different dimensions that are within the jurisdiction of man's authority and dominion. Now, I'm going somewhere from here because it's important that I let this foundation. All right. Now, these creatures are not just natural creatures or normal creatures like we see, like the fish that we eat, no? Or the uh, birds of the earth that we see, no? Or, of course, the cattle that we sometimes load in our stomachs. <laughs> no. These are spirits, creatures. These are abilities of different kinds. Now, God is a God of abilities. Just like as you look at your human body, your human body is a combination of different parts. And each part of your body is an ability. So that means when God put the hand, the legs, the eyes, the nose, the lungs, the kidneys, the liver, the blood streams, the pancreas, the brain cells, all of those we have supernatural abilities assembled together to serve a purpose. So the human body is a combination of different abilities. So when the Bible speaks of the fowl of the air, the fishes of the sea, and of course the creatures that creep upon the earth, these are abilities that will enable the man to carry out his dominion mandate across creatures, across realms and civilizations in the heavenly realms on the earth and the earth beneath. Without the abilities of these creatures, we will not go far. And we will, we, we will be unable to represent God as the image bearers of Yahweh. 